Hi everyone, today I did this look using all Eco Minerals products. They were sent to me by Lulu, who is the owner of Eco Minerals in Byron Bay, Australia. I am loving these products and stay tuned to see how I created this look. First I just thought I'd show you a little bit of information about the brand and also how I received the products. So they came to me in this cardboard recyclable bag. They were all packaged beautifully in this cute leopard print paper with the Eco Minerals sticker sealing each parcel. Inside the parcels I found these fantastic cards from Eco Minerals. I really love that this brand offers Eco Refills. It's a cruelty free and vegan brand so their products are never tested on animals. It's Australian made and owned so you always know that the people making the products are going to be paid fairly and also they are palm oil free. I think this company ticks all boxes for me. I really love their packaging. I really love the way that the products were sent to me. I love the eco feel of the brand. Obviously it's called Eco Minerals. They also have an app which I think is super cool and the app is to help you choose your correct colour. They do say that if you choose your colour it arrives and it's not the perfect colour then your perfect colour is sent to you for free and that is something that not a lot of other brands do so I think Eco Minerals have definitely thought about their name, the products they use and the way they manufacture their products but I also think they've really thought about their customers so I like that a lot. I was really excited to try their products and I'm so glad that I did. So in this video you're going to see all of the products that were sent to me. I'm going to test them out for you, uh, create this makeup look and try them out. So I've already got eyebrows on, everything else is a bare face. I haven't used any primer because I want to really feel how these products work on my face in their natural form. Other mineral foundations that I've used, I usually use a flat top kabuki brush to press and blend it into the face. But today I'm going to use the kabuki brush that they sent to me. Bristles are really soft, it feels very beautiful. They're quite long bristles as well. I think the spread on this brush is quite good so I'm interested to see how it applies. And the foundation that I was sent is their Mineral Foundation Matte in colour Flawless Light Beige. So I'm excited to see how this one works. When you open it up, it does have a little note on the inside, Eco Refills available. That is awesome. So you can just take out the top of it and fill it and then obviously you would save money, I assume. So I'm just going to pour some of it out onto the lid. I've got quite a few spots today, so it'll be interesting to see if it covers it. So far it's quite light. It doesn't have a heavy scent either. It's quite nice. I always find with mineral foundations I really have to spend my time and build them up. With powder foundations, I mean. As I love this brush that they sent me, I think I'm going to reuse this at the end to apply some blush and bronzer. I'm going to move to my buffing brush just because it's got quite a flat top and I feel like it's I've used it so much that I can be really aggressive and hard with it. So I'm going to try that. layering it and trying to get it to a nice full, well not full coverage but even coverage. It's definitely a matte foundation, it feels beautiful on the skin. So it's obviously not a full coverage foundation but I do feel like some of my like spots have been hidden quite well and overall I quite like the feel of it. It's really beautiful, easy to use. I've just been putting my brush into the top of the container and obviously buffing it on my skin. I am really impressed with the foundation. I really like it. I think it's a little bit too light for me just at the moment through summer while I've um, got a fake tan on and all that jazz. But I'm obviously going to bronze up my face with some of the other products that I got sent from them, so that's fine. 
That is their matte mineral foundation in flawless light beige. So I always do my eyes after my foundation. I know a lot of people like to contour and bronze after their foundation, but I do my eyes next. They did send me three amazing shadows and a small tester of one of their gorgeous green colors. The green eyeshadow that they sent me is called Olive Leaf. I also have the colors Coco, Indian Summer, and Middle Earth. I am in love with these colors. They are really versatile colors and gorgeous shades, all in that bronze and taupe kind of color that I normally wear. They did send me a beautiful shadow brush that also has an angled brush on the end of it, so it's a double-ended one. I will use this one to apply some pigment and pack it on my lids. But before I do that, I'm just going to go in with a fluffy blending brush and do a transition shade in my crease before I do this gorgeous Indian Summer shade all over my lid. Usually you can prime your eyes with a little bit of concealer or an eye primer first and this will help the shadow stay on. I'm just putting this shadow straight onto my eyelid. I just really want to see how these mineral eyeshadows stack up without any primer or any other favorable products on underneath. Mm, this is why it's taken me so long to do a makeup tutorial because mm, I don't think that I'm like an amazing person with makeup so <laughs> for me it's just fun and it's just a hobby. Um, I'm definitely not a makeup artist and that's probably why it's taken me so long to make one of these videos just because I'm not really sure if you're gonna learn anything but you'll definitely get to see me try products. So. Okay so I'm just going in with the beautiful double-ended shadow brush that they sent me into the top of the Indian Summer shade. Oh I can't wait to try this on my lid. very pigmented straight away you can see that it is highly highly pigmented I'm just pressing this onto my lid and I'll go on with a blending brush soon and buff it out a little bit but wow that is gorgeous color you only need the tiniest amount because it obviously goes a very long way I'm just using what's in the lid perfect for a mermaid look or a bronzed goddess look divine the brush is really good really good for packing on pigment it is nice and flat it gives you a really good area to put it on oh, I can't get over how beautiful this color is now I need to blend it out mm, disclaimer I'm not great at this whole blending thing so I'm just right in there in the crease, blend in with my transition shade which I didn't really put down a lot of to begin with. I'm just going to gently buff that out and then as I get to the top of the crease, sorry the top of my shadow and lid, I'm going to go light, lightly. So in here I'm pressing quite hard and when I get to this area I'm just going quite lightly. I'm just going to wing it out a little bit at the end here using that buffing brush just to smudge it out a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of their colour called Middle Earth which to me in the bottle looks like a rustic clay colour. And then when you swatch it, it's almost like a lilac rose gold. It's amazing. It's got a very different color to it. So I'm actually just going to try and press some of that with my fingers into the corner of my eye. this on camera another reason why I have strayed away from doing tutorials because my camera is not so great the eyeshadows are definitely gorgeous they have a lot of pigment in them super easy to use I think the size and the amount you get in each one is very generous 
they obviously last you such a long time. I mean, you saw the tiny amounts that I was using on a brush or on my finger just to sort of press on the eyelid. I'm just going to go now and put some mascara on, some eyeliner and some lashes, and I'll be back to do my bronzer and blusher and try out their highlighter as well. So I just put these lashes on and I just can't believe I used to wear these lashes every day. These are huge and just so, so big. I'm going to see what the tip of this one is like to use to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going to be using the other, the third shade that I was sent, which is Coco. I'm just going to see what this looks like underneath the eye. I'm just going to change my brush because uh, that one there, it's just got really soft bristles. Beautiful soft bristles, but they're not firm enough to do a nice sharp under eye line. These two I'm just going to open them up and tip them out into a little container so that I can use the kabuki brush in the container and then use the product on my face. So just to show you how much I got in that little sample size, it is quite a generous amount, it kind of fills the bottom of this little pot, so that's quite good. Getting the bronzer on my brush, the kabuki brush that I was sent, and using it to, oh wow, it's very pigmented, to contour, so just going to buff that out now. Is a really nice bronzy color. No issues with the Kabuki brush. It's working really well. So I'm gonna do the same now with the blush in Dreamtime. Pour it out into a little sample pot using their Kabuki brush and dusting it on my cheeks. Oh it's a really nice apricot color. Wow that is gorgeous. I think the thing that I love about mineral makeup is that everything gives you a glow. I think I could definitely go heavier on the bronzer, but we'll just leave it like that for now. The next thing that we're going to do is highlighting. I have two products to try from them. One of them is their Mineral Illuminate White Light. This is a white powder illuminator from them, and I'm just going to dust this one in the corners of my eyes. I think it's going to be very pigmented. It is. It's beautiful. And I really love that. That's the powder illuminator. There is so much product in this as well, so obviously I'd be putting a little bit all over my neck and my shoulders and I'm gonna do, you know, Cupid's bow and obviously on my cheeks as well. The first one that I want to use is the liquid highlighter, so I'm gonna use this on my cheeks first and then dust some of that powder over the top. This is their Alchemy Highlighting Cream. I love that it has like a little applicator like this. Uh, I compared this one in a swatch for you with the Anika highlighting cream because that's the one that I've always loved and have always used. You can see in the swatches that they're quite different colours. I think the applicator wand on the Eco Minerals one makes it a lot easier to work with. So I'm just going to squeeze a small amount of this onto my finger and you really only need a tiny amount. Then I'm going to dab this onto my cheeks. I'm not sure if it's really showing up on camera, but it has got a really gorgeous gold rose tone to it. And then I'm going to go over that with their powder illuminator. Again, with this powder illuminator, you can get eco refills, so that's really good. I'm just going to use whatever's left in the lid to dust over my highlighting cream. Highlighting powder.
about it is like a frozen dream. It is beautiful. It goes on super smooth. It doesn't have a gritty glitter, which some of the highlighters nowadays do, or they have quite a thick, chunky glitter. This is very, very fine. And I will also show you it on my neck as well, and my body, just so you can see how nice it is. That is a finished look using all Eco Minerals products today. I really love this look and I hope that you do too. The Eco Minerals brand is extremely beautiful. I'm really impressed with their products and I'm so excited to keep using this mineral highlighter. I hope you really liked this video. I had a lot of fun creating this look and I definitely had a lot of fun experimenting with my first kind of chatty try on of products. I will be bringing you more makeup tutorials if you guys like this one. I hope you really did. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to my channel for more vegan and cruelty free videos and until next time I'll see you guys later. Bye.